What dreams would he have not seen? Life a dream for him. Where is the justice being born that way? Odisha, India, the location of Project Netra 1000, a free cataract surgery camp conducted by Division Mission in November 2014. This is Betty Zashram, located in the open, idyllic countryside a few miles from the town of Sambalpur. Patients are brought in from various villages as far as 150 kilometers away. These people come from the poorest background imaginable. To top that off, most have been blind due to cataract for years and unable to therefore conduct basic activities for livelihood. This place, Dr. Shiva Prasad Sahu's Trilochan Netralaya, offers them a sign of hope. One such patient is Shapura Bhoy. Shapura lives alone in the village of Salesi. Shapura and patients like her first go through pre-operative tests in the morning. Later in the evening, they are prepped for surgery. Gobin is another such. To tackle the huge number of surgeries, Dr. Shiva and his staff go about their work in a very disciplined way. The patient is brought into the pre-operative area, dressed, his registration done, he is brought to the operating table. Dr. Shiva uses the SICS technique or the small incision cataract surgery. The patient is then bandaged and goes back to the rest and recuperation area. If you think cataract is a disease that affects only the old, then think again. Eight-year-old Gopal and his younger brother, Devi Nura, both sons of a landless peasant, have suffered from blindness due to cataract since birth. They are both being operated upon today. Devi Nura has never seen anything before. He can only roughly respond to the light coming at his eyes. Also, we are about to observe a surgery whereby we're going to operate a one and a half year old kid. So obviously this will be under general anesthesia. The thing about this is it's going to be a little bit riskier. There is an additional problem with Nura for he has contracted a slight flu. Doctors hold a quick meeting to decide what to do and resolve to go ahead with the surgery. Um, I think the little Nura comes from 250 kilometers away. Even though he has a little bit of a flu, if we don't do the surgery now, he will not come back. His parents can't bring him back. <laughs> Surgery done, baby Nura is back in the arms of his mother. Through our six years of service in Sambalpur and in nearby districts, uh, to some extent we have achieved clearing the backlog of bilateral blind. Situation is not seen in Kalahandi and in Navarangpur and Kurapur. Those are the areas where till now we are getting huge number of patients coming blind in both eyes and that needs urgent attention. Aapke gaon mein aur bhi log aise hain jisko dikhai nahi deta? Aao baba vadeshan gaon tamar mar mar kahin nahi nahi tamar gaon hu tor bagil aap baba vadi achhan ke din mana na dikhi bar bar. Jana dikhi nahi ke gaadi ko sab bahi. Needless to say, Odisha needs more help. There's so much that we can do for these people over here. They have no money, 
They live so far away from medical care and the opportunity Dr. Shiva Prasad and his TN team gives to these people is immeasurable. The objective of this camp is to help the needy and the poor and which is very close, something which is very close to my heart as well. It benefits these poor patients who have no other alternatives other than uh, this kind of venues where they can seek treatment. If not, they will be um, permanently handicapped by this blindness. Mohammad Farooq is a senior optometrist at the Singapore National Eye Centre. Farooq has been a regular volunteer at various mission trips. Here in Sambalpur, he is training up an eager batch of future optometrists and is bringing in global best practices in the field. Uh, my task given for me this, during this trip is to train uh, these five paramedical staff in this hospital. Basically, only one is doing it for quite a couple of years and the other four are pretty new. Back in the camp, we check on the patients to see how they are doing. Mm -hmm. Gobind can see again, as can Shapura Bhoi. Baby Nura is able to see and perceive objects, but his older brother Gopal has not been that lucky. We've uh, funded and conducted about 350 cataract surgeries uh, in this trip. We did about 300 uh, in the previous trip when we came in February. Uh, we have another team coming down from Singapore in December and we should be expecting to do another 350 surgeries, taking our total for the year to a thousand free cataract surgery. The Singapore-based Vision Mission has helped me in achieving our goal to some extent. Now they are supporting with money for surgeries on poor blind patients and they are also supporting in sending clinical experts to augment our clinical skills. Uh, we're also trying to bring in a lot of uh, other specialists from Singapore to help out uh, in various other uh, areas that require help over here. I will say it's more important to send clinical teams. And in this trip, uh, trip, they have brought one very good optometrist who is training up our six parameters in refraction. And next trip, they are planning to send some glaucoma experts. So in that way, uh, whatever help we get from other donors, this is unique. This year has been a good beginning for the collaboration between the Vision Mission and Trilochan Nepalaya. We need more experts to visit a hospital to augment our doctor's skill, knowledge, diagnostic uh, capability. And we certainly hope to do more good work in the years ahead. Uh -huh.